Hey everyone, welcome to a special spooky edition of our Magic Minute series. Today I'm gonna to show you what a student room looks like from the student side and from the teacher dashboard. And in this video, I'm featuring a special spooky Halloween themed room that you can get a direct link to in the description of this video. All right, let's dive in. So this right here is called the teacher dashboard. This is where you will see students' interactions taking place once they've joined the student room. In this room, you can see that there are several tools that I've already customized for the students to use. Now to share this room with students, all I would have to do is go up here to join info and I'm going to give them the link. So once the students go to the link that you've shared, this is what their view will look like. So here I just put in my first name and hit join room. When students first join, they'll be met with this Magic School Responsibility Acknowledgement. This is a great place to pause, stop, and talk to students about the best uses of AI. So once in the student room, students can now see the different tools that I have given them. I'm gonna show you the Hocus Pocus podcast. So from the student view, I can open the tool, talk about which candy is the best. So here you can see that this doesn't actually create the podcast, but it creates an outline of the podcast. So from here, students can copy and paste this into a Word document, make edits to make it their own, and hopefully eventually record it and perform it for their classmates. Now here on the teacher dashboard, you can see the entire conversation that I had with the chatbot. I can go here and I can actually see that what I said and how I asked it to change up the podcast. I have now said something more rude and impolite to the AI, and I just wanna show you what this looks like on the teacher side. Now, immediately on the teacher side, what you can see is that that conversation was flagged. So here, as you see, I can scroll down and see where that flag took place. We do give you action options where you can pause the room, lock the room, or you can even have the student removed if necessary. So in the student room, students can then go back. They can continue to use the different tools that we have given them access to, and they can continue to create some amazing Halloween fall themed creations. Now, if you'd like to learn how to set up a student room yourself, make sure you hit the video above. Thanks for watching.